Ni todavía líder y asambleísta haciendo un buen trabajo, Marco Crespo. Gracias, gracias, José. I feel great. This is a great announcement. The Congressman Adriano Espaillat and Richie Torres, $3.5 million to support our school based health center program, the largest health center program in the country. We're really excited about it and grateful to for them for helping us expand that. Uh, but I no longer have titles. The only title I still have is co-president of the Jose Rivera Fan Club. So for all his YouTube watchers, mira, no me dejen fuera las invitaciones. I want to go to the parties too. I can get you to trouble this year. <laughs> There you go. You gotta get, gotta get me in. <laughs> Great job. Great job. Great day. <laughs> Tú, tú siempre está? estás elegante. Pero déjame darle un abrazo. No, no, porque te estoy admirando. Gracias, gracias. ¿Cómo estás? Si no es para la sonrisa, no te escucho. Todo menos mi jefe. No quiso que bajara. Ahora el texto era Adriano, pero no vio el teléfono. Me dijo que yo estoy bueno. Buen trabajo, ¿sabes? Buen gracias. trabajo. Great job. ¿Y cómo estás? Encantado de la vida. Amén. La temperatura ayuda.
taking in kids to the doctors. Children with asthma who participate in a prom in a program actually get care right in the school. That is less visits to the hospital or follow up. And as I mentioned earlier, being a part of our program also means that there are less than 50% drop in ER visits. So that's that's a very big deal for the community and for students. Um, and I think nearly every student who referred for mental health services to our program receives it. And that's a very big difference from before when only one in ten person who was deferred for mental health services got it before the program started. So that's a very big difference that has been made since then. Now having this broadband capability and technology updates has had a bring us to a whole different level of care and connection that we've been working for and looking forward to. Which would only happen thanks to the $3.3 million uh, secured by the Representative SNA and Representative Burr. So thank you very, very much. Um, we are one step closer to connecting more students and most importantly their parents to our services. And that's, that's very important for us in these times. So, this marks a pivotal step in advancing a Montefiore school health program, strengthening our digital infrastructure across the Montefiore network and supporting the health of our entire community, not only the students, the entire community here to be able to support and the rest of the school community within where we are. So that, that, and connect them to care that is needed for them. So specialty care, it could be to different sites, it could be getting them health care in terms of insurance, and things like that. So we could do all of that with this now. So that's really, really great stuff that we're doing. Now this is a great day for children in Bronx. Now which is why there's nothing better to close the ceremony than here directly from two of the incredible PSA students who have benefited from these services and who are with us here and who are also school council members. Uh, so I would like to invite Sam Montesino and Aldi Sadam.
Thank you to our student council members and our participants in our Monty Clinic. Thank you again, everyone, for coming here today and being part of this special day. Please enjoy light refreshments at the back table and be sure to take a look at our artwork created by our students so you can see their interpretation of health. I ask kindly members of the media to line up to your left and we'll make our speakers available for interviews at the back. Thank you again and stay well, everyone. Great job, great job. Thank you.